Hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? All those folks out there in YouTube land, or wherever you are, I hope you're having a good one. Ah, uh, especially all my subscribers and commenters. I really appreciate that. Anyway, uh, so if you got an old washing machine motor and it's been sitting around for a while and it's froze up, what are you gonna do? Uh, so the shaft doesn't spin and uh, you wanna try and use it. Or you've had one sitting in your backyard and you finally figured out what was wrong with it but the motor's all froze up. So here's what I do. Um, you can take uh, some lubricant. This is the dollar store special stuff. Or, and or um, WD-40 or Deep Creep or uh, Liquid Ranch or something like that. Basically what you want to do is you want to spray it in here along this bearing here and what normally happens is rust accumulates between this whatever the main armature and the side windings. That's where the rust usually accumulates. So you want to get it in there. So basically you set this thing on its one side you spray it around that little area right there and on both sides of course and then what I do is I'll take a hammer and I'll loosen up the shaft a little bit either way all, all different ways and then just slightly this way just tap on it now this one here I've already gotten loose so uh, yeah, it was something that I thought that I might not be able to get loose but it came loose you can see how rusty these are um, it will it probably doesn't affect it you can see it's the windings are a little sun bleached but I don't think that's gonna affect it I believe the motor would still work and this one here we had the the pump is stuck on so I couldn't get the pump off or at least maybe I, I haven't tried to get the pump off but I'm thinking that pump is stuck on there so I just left it on there to, rather than bust it off and so what I do from there basically you just take a wrench and try and grab a hold that it does have a spline on it and what I did on this one is I put pressure on it and then tapped on it so basically I put like upward pressure here from my knee and then just keep tapping on it and then finally it just broke through and so now it spins so anyway uh, that's your tip for today thanks for watching if you needed uh, any help, I give phone advice for $25. I've also got a how to make money in the appliance repair business course that I uh, offer to two students per year. If you're interested in that, you can contact me as well. Mr. Maintain at Hotmail.